Good morning, THS, and welcome back to another action-packed episode of Tiger News. To start the show, I'll be bringing you the five-day forecast. After that, Isabel has a brand new episode of Tigers on the Prowl. And to close up today's show, Amber has the latest in an all-new sports desk. All this and more only on Tiger News. Good morning, THS. Today is Friday, September 20th. I'm Ali Weed. And I'm Valentina Marin. And I hope everyone is excited for their weekend. I know I am. It's supposed to be warm and sunny all weekend. I hope the summer weather continues, and luckily I'm here to bring us the forecast. Good morning, THS. Hopefully everyone enjoyed their weekend. In the upcoming week, we will be seeing some warm temperatures. Over the weekend, it will be sunny with a low of 59 and high of 86. And it doesn't look like that will stop for the next week either. Starting off, on Monday, it will be cloudy with a high of 84. For the rest of the week, the temperatures seem to be in the mid-70s. Tuesday looks like we will have rain, but we could get a few more clouds over the next few days with the sun mixing in as well. I'm Valentina Merritt, and that's it for the weekly forecast. As of this past week, New York has be become the first state to ban e-cigarettes and vapes. A statewide ban on all flav flavored vape products besides menthol has been put into effect this past Sunday in an effort to stop vaping-related illnesses in New York and the rest of the country. The Public Health and Health Planning Council voted unanimously to implement the move just after 5 p.m. New York vape shops and convenience stores have a two-week grace period before enforcement begin, state officials said. Last Friday, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health confirmed two new human cases of the triple E virus infection, bringing the total number of human cases to seven. Officials said a Northboro woman in her 60s and a five-year-old girl from Sudbury have been diagnosed. Officials said the girl is being treated at an area hospital and is in critical condition. The risk level in Framingham, Northboro, Sudbury has been raised to critical and the risk level in Berlin, Boylston, Hudson, and Wayland has been raised to high. We are so excited to be in the studio broadcasting our first episode of Tiger News. That's right, Allie. And to kick off the new year, Tiger News went around the school to see what people were looking forward to the most this school year. Here's Isabel with a new segment of Tigers on the Prowl. Hi, I'm Isabel Gabriel, and this is a new edition of Tigers on the Prowl. Today we are going around THS to ask students what they are most excited for this upcoming school year. Homecoming. Homecoming. The soccer season. Homecoming. Basketball. Uh, I'm excited for graduation mostly, but uh, I'm also excited to be spending the year with my friends, family, and uh, playing sports. The football season. To take piano. Making new friends. I'm just, I'm just excited to learn, that's all. Homecoming. Getting new knowledge and expanding my mind. Thank you for watching Tiger on the Prowl. I'm Isabel Gabriel. Come back next week for another segment. Now back to the desk. The Red Sox won 5-4 to four last night against the San Francisco Giants. I've also heard that the Patriots are doing pretty well in their season. Well, Amber is live in the studio to update us on everything sports related. Good morning, THS, and welcome to Sports Desk. I'm your host, Amber Bean. Sports Update is your go-to for information about local and New England sports. The Patriots are on a winning streak, and hopefully it continues this Sunday when they play the New York Jets at 1 p.m. at Gillette Stadium. The Red Sox won three out of their four games this week. And as for Ting's Row Sports, um, sports, girls varsity field hockey tied two games this week. Girls varsity soccer played won one game this week, and boys varsity soccer won one game, and they all have games today. Good luck, guys. Cross Country had a meet at North Middlesex, and they have a meet at Amherst College tomorrow. The football team has a game at 2 p.m. at Maynard High School tomorrow. Good job to all our sports teams this week. That's all for Sports Desk. This has been Amber Bean. Now it's time for homeroom headlines. Olivia's on campus to give us the scoop. Hello, I'm Olivia Sasek and welcome to Homeroom Headlines. This is where if you have an announcement or event that you would like the community to hear about, you can let us know or join us down on the bench. That's all for me. I'm Olivia Sasek. Let's take it back to the desk. 
That's all for today's episode of Tiger News. You can catch this broadcast again at 11.30 on Tingsboro Education Channel, Comcast 10 and Verizon 28. Or you can watch this and other episodes at TingsboroMedia.com. For THS News, I'm Allie Weed. And I'm Valentina Marin. Have a fantastic Friday.